that was uh, about six and a half to seven gallons of water. And one pound, just slightly under one pound, uh, like an ounce by an ounce or so. Of, uh, it's called army cloth. Uh, it was a short dress dinner jacket belong to uh, James Stamp, graduated, uh, well he was the class of 1944 at the U.S. Naval Academy. They graduated him in 1943 because, you know, we were at war with Japan at the time and uh, they needed people in the Pacific. So they were graduating everybody, moving everybody up. We just received the, these uniforms from his daughter. And so this morning I am going to beat up. And I'm going to be doing individual batches. And uh, so this dinner jacket, we don't, we don't have the trousers that went with that particular uniform. Um, but I cut that, I, I, uh, cut that uniform up the other day. And it yielded about one pound of uh, fiber. And so right now I've got it in here with uh, about six gallons of water, seven, six and a half, seven gallons of water. I'm going to run it on. I'm going to run it fully open for about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit more, until, um, until the fabric's completely saturated with water. With what's going to happen, even though there's really no beating action going on right now, I'm going to plug there maybe a little bit, technically, a little bit of beating action going on right now. Uh, but what, what is going to happen is it's going to fill up, those fibers are going to taking on a lot of water, and they are going to start to separate, they're going to start to pull apart. Hopefully in about 15, maybe 20 minutes, um, we'll see those tight little, those tight little squares of fabric are going to start to come apart. And in fact, I mean, you can already start to see it happening. It's already, it's already starting to happen. So, give you a good sense of what's going on. We've got fantastic movement. It's awesome. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I don't know if you can see it on my hands. It's already starting to come apart. So, one of, one of the things I'm trying here is um, a sort of slower process. Quite often we we do a much quicker process here when we're beating our uh, uniforms. And uh, I might run this this way for a couple of minutes, but then I'm going to crank it down normally. Normally I'll crank it down until I really start hearing a beating sound. And when I, when I uh, about 20 minutes when I, when I do do that, you're going to understand what, what I'm talking about as far as the beating sound. Uh, but right now, I really want this to be a little bit slower process. I want these fibers to really absorb a lot of water and, and, and really fill uh, so that I get real nice separation of all those fibers because this army cloth is a, is a really tightly woven solid cloth, so I really want to allow this to break down slowly. Anyways, we'll be back in about 15 minutes. Peace. Okay, it's been, uh, been 20 minutes. I've run this uh, beater fully open at uh, 40, about 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, sort of as I suspected, you know, this has worked apart very well. I've completely separated. As you can see, there are no more there are no more discernible pieces of fabric. Maybe I stand corrected on that. There's still there are still some that are not broken apart. So I think
think I'm going to run it a little bit longer. I'm going to give it another 15 minutes. Uh, after that point, I think I'm going to I'm going to lower the roll. I'll, I'll have gotten it as far along as I as I can. I'm going to give it another 15 minutes to see how much more separation of those fibers I can achieve with a fully open roll. And just just sort of you know uh, getting that water absorbed into it. All right. See you in 15 minutes. Okay. It's been uh been another 15 minutes. So this has been beating. I think now. 35 minutes, fully open. I think it's, uh, you know, I, could, I could go longer with it, but I, I don't know that, how much I'm going to gain from that. There are still some pieces here and there that I haven't fully separated. It's hard to tell why that is. Uh, there it is. So, I am going to, I'm going to lower the roll. So I'm at, currently at 40. I don't know if that's 40 millimeters. I'm going to go down. Typically, the way we beat right here is we lower this until we hear the beating sound. That's going to start to occur you know, somewhere around 12 or 11. So that's from 40 down to 12 or 11. So I'm going to start here. Now I'm at 15, 13, 12. There's an 11, I just heard a little knock. Alright. So that sound you hear is the beating. The roll now is very close to the bed plate. It's set, there's a setting of three. I'm going to assume that that's probably three millimeters. We started out at 40 millimeters, which um, is over about an inch wide. Now we're down to three millimeters, which is um, just over an eighth of an inch. Uh, uh, just over an eighth of an inch. Because a quarter inch, quarter inch is six millimeters. So, so about an eighth of an inch. And you hear that nice sound. I say that nice sound. That's that's the sound we like. You know, that's that's the, really that's the action. You know, it's uh, the blades on the roll. You know. They're, they're spaced out very closely, so it's forcing the fabric against the bed plate, pushing the fibers apart, and you know, um, doing the work. I know, I, just, it's a little, I get a little crazy. I love this process. You know. I'm going to run this this way um, for uh, it's almost 20 to 8. I'm going to run it for about 40 minutes, so about 8.20. 920 actually, it's 20 to 9. So I got somebody coming at 930 I think. And I actually got to be done with this book really soon. So I'm going to run it at 3 for about 40 minutes, maybe a half an hour. Come back and then we're going to drop it down to, to 0. And uh, we'll beat it at 0 for about an hour. And then we'll be done. Alright, see in about uh, 30 minutes. Okay, it's been about uh, 35 minutes. So, uh, as you can hear, Hear this sound the way it was. But you still have a, you still hear there's a beating action happening. The beating action is much less. Now, I crank the, the roll down a little bit more. To show you what a, the pulp looks like now. You know, it's really starting to get the thinner fibers. There's really not, no piece of fabric left at all. It's actually going to be really beautiful. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to crank it down a little bit more. There we go. There we go. Crank it down to zero. So I'm going to run it on zero for about an hour. In about an hour, it should be done. And it's a fairly quick, quickly beat the roll. Maybe. You know, I'll be curious to know what kind of uh, paper it makes. You know, it's, uh, it's all new to me. I'm learning this as I go. So, and I'm kind of making it up as I go, too. I'm only starting to read about this stuff, so I don't really know what this will happen. I know it's going to be worse. Uh, about an hour. Okay.
Okay. It's been about an hour. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pull some pulp from the beer. And uh, I'm gonna put it in this small bat. It looks really good. It's really good. I'm gonna take it outside here. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna test pull a sheet. I mean, the, the fact is, is I've, I've got to move on. Um, I've got I've got some paid work that I need to do. I need to make a couple other batches of pulp. I mean, if I had to run this more, I would. But um, I'm gonna get some water, put it in with this pulp. And we'll pull a we'll pull a test sheet. Proof is not looks good. Looks very good. So, you know, this is a, a makeshift small bat. Yeah, wow. Beautiful. It's fairly wet. So it drains pretty, you know, slowly. It, uh, pretty good sheet formation. I mean, there's still, you know, I mean, the, the crazy thing is, so there's still some knots in there, you know, but it's um, it's pretty good, pretty good. It's going to make a nice sheet of paper. You know, that's that's a shame that you know there's still some heavy stuff in that, still some heavy stuff in there that didn't get beat down. That is, you know, that's my failing in, uh, in the rag preparation. You know, uh, I allowed stuff to be included that probably I should not have included. You know, I should have been a little more careful in the deconstruction of that uniform. Um, I was going for quantity more than I was going for quality. Which you know, so I'm so I'm going to suffer there. You know, instead of getting these beautiful, perfect sheets, and every once in a while we're going to have a little knot in the sheet. You know, and and you know, historically, you know, with frontline uh, uniform paper, we're not concerned with that stuff. Um, every once in a while, I get into my head that I, I, I want this, you know, perfection. Um, I re remember what we're doing and we're creating paper from military uniforms. Um, this, this is going to be some beautiful pulp. It's going to be some beautiful paper. I'm going to send some of this paper back to um, the daughter of uh, James Clarence Camp. Uh, he retired as a major after 26 years in the Marine Corps, fought in World War II and in Korea. And um, from his short dress dinner jacket from uh, the Naval Academy. We're going to make some beautiful paper. So, yeah, I'm happy. It's good. All right. Um, I'll show you the paper after we make it. It's going to be next week. Okay. Bye.